During Channel 5's Jeremy Vine program the panel discussed the fact Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021 has been nominated for an Emmy Award in the non-fiction section. And Whitcomb blasted the nomination as a joke and claimed the interview belonged in the fiction category. Mr. Vine asked the former MP have you seen any of those, the nominations, and Ms. Whitcomb replied, I saw the interview with Harry and Meghan. The idea that it is non-fiction is a joke. The other stuff Bridgerton and The Crown, I do not watch it. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's explosive interview with Oprah saw the couple make a number of attacks on the royal family. However, some of the claims made in the interview have been questioned. Meghan claimed the couple got married a few days before their wedding in May 2018 but this was later refuted by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Prince Harry's claim that Prince Charles instantly cut him off when leaving the royal family has also been called into question after the royal family released accounts showing Charles continued to fund his son. During her explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan Markle was critical of the inner mechanisms of the royal family, particularly their lack of action when she alerted them to mental health problems she was dealing with. Meghan told Oprah in March 2021, I was told that I couldn't get help that it wouldn't be good for the institution. I went to one of the most senior people to get help. And I share this because, there are so many people who are afraid to voice that they need help, and I know how hard it is to not just voice it but to be told no. The Duchess of Sussex continued, I said, I need help. She added, human resources, said, my heart goes out to you because I see how bad it is but there's nothing we can do to protect you because you're not a paid employee of the institution. This wasn't a choice, this was emails and begging for help saying very specifically, I am concerned for my mental welfare. Nothing was ever done, Meghan said.